Welcome to the video review of Barricade. What do I think about this figure? Well, you'll find out in this video. <laughs> this is the last night version. Um, but, ah, uh, guess what? The box was right next to me. Let's see, look at the box. You can see him in some detail in this now. What's weird is it does say serve, but in the actual movie it says punish and enslave. At least that's why I think it does. But okay, little smushed Decepticon symbol. You see the rest of him. Decepticons be bad and not robots be good. There he is, holding a nice stick and having a gun. Other figures. Nothing interesting at the bottom. Hasbro. And of course at the top you see Megatron. With in the movie, in the movie, and not in the movie. Well, mentioned in the movie, but not really seen it in the movie. Now for scale, here he is with the original movie one. Um, please don't make me transform this one. It's so hard. I just like him in his car mode. And... Ah! I'm not taking that out. Um, please, I don't like him. But you do see, actually see some very similarities. It does say police on the white part. And the Decepticon spool was supposed to be moved up a little bit. It does say Punish and Slave. Back end. Ah, they both have red lights. Um, he does not have the 643, which I like that part. About this one. Um, of course, I do wish that this one came with Frenzy or just a little minicon that he had, like, tore him around because I liked his partnership with Frenzy because that was cool. But yeah, I'm not going to transform this one ever. Now, so in terms of accessories, he did come with a lot. In terms of other last night figures like Bumblebee, who came with nothing. He came with a gun, a oh, other gun, like machine gun, and then a nightstick, which is very nice. And I, I have trouble just tabbing these in to the bottom of the car mode, which they're supposed to. I just leave them off to the side. Of course, this one you can just like plug it into the back. And have that going on, but um, that is just uh weird, and I would hate to see that driving around my neighborhood. Don't worry, kids, I'll be okay. <laughs> oh no, Mr. Chiffin's in the house, it's gone. Oh, by the way, Batter Kitty's a sinister, a sinister, 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 de Torres, probably saying that wrong, sinister, why, and glossier. Trapezo Sinestro. I probably said all those wrong except for Sinister Tracer, which he isn't really. That's my opinion. He isn't really. He's not really a trickster. He's sinister, but they could have said like Sinister Enforcer, and that would have made more sense. But, um, yeah, let's just get down to transformation. Um, what is annoying is you can't pull this part down like you used to with this one, and like that'd be good for stop motion to be like. Nom 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 nom. Mm hmm. Give me more soup. <laughs> I don't know. I'm going insane. Because I'm shooting four different videos today, a part of the January. January. Never mind, I've already messed it up. So let's transform them. So, what you're going to do, like almost every figure, untab the part, the top part. Ah! It always comes off on mine. <laughs> Just plug it back in. Not cutting this out. This is YouTube gold. Yeah, and then untab this, the wheel wells, it down, fold out the arms, bring them up, and what is cool? God damn it. Sorry. So when you pull this up, it usually brings this part down and it looks very nice. And you just situate the arms into a nice way, and take the legs, fold this part down and around. Down and around, straight at the legs. Then you have Barricade in his robot mode, which I freaking hate the backpack. It makes him look like a turtle, okay? I'm not going to be the first one to say this, but he looks like a turtle. Anyway, he does have... Wait, I think you'll see this the right way. Does say Protect and Serve. 
I don't like. Yeah, you can see it. Protect and serve, but they are kind of backwards. So sometimes in camera, you'll see it the normal way, but on the toy, it's backwards. So, um, in terms of design, I like this figure. I like it very much. Um, he's a good figure. I don't think he's well articulated and a good character to have. He is, um, of course, part of the movie series, so you may have hard trouble finding him. But yeah. But the weapons do tab in, so the gun can tab in on the side, like that. The nightstick can tab on the other side. And then the machine gun, you can leave it on the back just for storage. Or you can actually just take it like he did in the movie, have it wrap around his arm. But you're probably thinking, wait, didn't in the movie he have a taser gun on the other arm? Which is what I like to do with normal gun. And just put it on the other side. And you can of course put the nightstick. There. So yeah, I think this is definitely out of all the last night characters, except for of course like the cool new ones, he's a good rebooted figure. Like Bumblebee or Drift, Hound. Those were all like in my opinion rebooted. They had different alt modes, they had different color schemes, they had different faces. Well not really different faces, different looks. I like this figure. Anyway, I will see you in the next video. Bye bye. I'm not going to edit this because hey, you know what? You deserve all my mistakes and goof ups. You deserve them. Just as a little treat from me to you. Alright, bye this time. Bye. Excuse me, sir. You will uh you are double parked. You are double Why am I sounding like Arnold Schwarzenegger? You are double park. Oh my god. I freaking messed this up. <laughs> Sorry, sir, you were double park. Hey, it's me! Barricade. Oh, wow, man. You look sleek. Can you transform for me? No. Well, why aren't you? I said no! No, don't do it! Ow! I wanted to just see him transform.